If you want to know how to fly to the NASA Space Shuttle Landing Facility, join me in the cockpit and I'll show you how. Hi everyone, today we are going to do something that every pilot that's in the area of the eastern coast of Florida should do. We are going to go to the NASA Space Shuttle Landing Facility. And today my buddy Jeff is here to help me and uh, keep me out of trouble, so he's going to listen in and make sure I make all the right radio calls because you have to do this in just the right way to stay legal. First, you should check the TFRs, which we did, and there is no active TFR right now. There is one later tonight at 7.45, but we'll be long done before then. The second thing we have to do is we have to make sure that the restricted area is not active. And so when we get in the air, we will call Orlando Approach and do that. Um, so I'm ready. You ready to go? Absolutely. Spruce Creek traffic. Blue Sierra is taking active runway 6, departing to the east. Spruce Creek. Clear left, clear right, nobody on final. Looking good. The runway lights are not blinking. <laughs> good thing. Rudder coming in, staying on center line. Seventy-seven rotate. Off we go. Climb runway heading to five hundred feet, which is about here. Drift a little bit to the right. We want to stay out of New Smyrna's airspace and out of 600. Daytona's airspace. We've got a nice little corridor in between these two. All right, we are out of Spruce Creek's airspace. I'm going to switch over to Orlando Approach. Once I pass New Smyrna and the Daytona Class Charlie, then I'll call. Orlando Approach, Cirrus 547 Tango Juliet. 574 Tango Juliet, how's that? It's 547 Tango Juliet. We're five miles southwest of Massey Air Ranch X50. I'd like to know if the restricted areas 2932 and 2934 are active. 547 Tango Juliet, uh, radio is uh, pretty bad, uh, but I think you asked about 2934. 2934 is cold. The only one that's active is 2932. Copy. 2932 is active and 2934 is cold. 7 Tango Juliet. So this airport is nestled inside a whole bunch of airspace. First, it's inside of its own class Delta, which is administered by NASA. Then it's also inside of a restricted area, and it's right next to a second restricted area. You have to be really careful when you're flying around here. You concur, I'm about to cross into 2934, which is cold. Yep. And as long as we stay on that side of the runway, we're good. Yep. Yeah, very nice. So, and you have an extended center line to, to keep you out of trouble, too. Literally going to follow the extended center line. Yeah. So this airport is where the NASA space shuttle actually landed for years and years. It's 15,000 feet long, which is not quite the longest in the U.S. Denver is actually at 16,000. But believe it or not, I did a little homework on this. Even Denver is not the biggest runway in the world. In China, specifically in Tibet, they have an airport that's 18,000 feet long. Well, they, I, they, they need it for the altitude. I have no idea what they land on, an 18,000 yeah. foot runway. Yeah. I see the runway from here. You can see that runway from space. <laughs> NASA Tower, Cirrus 547 Tango Juliet, 12 to the north, uh, request a low pass on runway 15. Seven Tango Juliet, NASA Tower, they stand by for the wind and I'll tell it around and see if I can work that out for you. Welcome, Seven Tango Juliet. We're 11 miles, so yeah. we're going to make sure we stay out of his delta until... Well, actually, no, Act we've talked to him. Yeah, we we've established two-way we communication. We don't have to unless he tells us to stay out. You know, we're cleared into the delta. We're just not necessarily cleared yeah. into his pattern. Five four seven Tango Julian NASA Tower report two mile final for one five. The uh, altimeter is two nine or nine or four, and the wind is two zero zero at four. Copy two nine or nine or four, and we're descending out of thirteen hundred. Confirm we're approved for the low approach. 
Uh, report a two-mile final for me for the uh, low approach, and you will be restricted to 500 feet. There's men and equipment on the runway. Copy. We'll report two miles and uh, understand 500 feet. All right. All right. Well, not ideal. They've got people on the runway now. All right. But that, cam is running. But that's from the center of the field, correct? Correct. Okay. So we got to add about a mile and a half to that. That's a good point. Did not think of that. <laughs> so I'm going to call it at four and say that that's two miles. Okay. Uh, that should be very close. Seven Tango Juliet, Nashtar. Go ahead for Seven Tango Juliet. And traffic for you is a helicopter just west of the field, west of the canal, northbound, at midfield now. If you would, you can just watch for him as you make your little approach. Looking for traffic, Seven Tango Juliet. You see him? All right. And he's on the screen. He's at the, uh, yeah, he's close to midfield, just off the right. Yeah, and, I got him. And he's lower than we are. Yep. So. We're going to do this by hand. All right. And that's tower traffic in flight for 7 Tango Juliet. 7 Tango Juliet, right there. Into two miles. <laughs> we're not quite there. At yeah. 500 feet, we yeah. should be much slower than this. And yeah. we're two miles now. So. And that's tower, we're two mile final now. I'll get clear for the low approach at or above 500 feet. Clear for the approach at or above 500. 7 Tango Juliet. Okay, okay you're all right. Juliet. Also, use caution. I've got some large showing birds about mid in midfield area. Uh, close to the runway. We're looking, Seven Tango Juliet. And we're at 500. We're at 120 knots. And here we go. Now, today they've got trucks on the runway, so we can't go any lower. But we did this not too long ago in Jeff's plane, in his twin Comanche, and we did it at about 50 feet off the ground. Give or, give or take, yeah. So. And that's Tower, Seven Tango Juliet. Uh, request a right teardrop to course reversal and uh, do the same low approach on runway 33. Seven Tango Juliet, I can prove that. That's a right turn out with a left end to runway 33. Same restriction, maintain that above 500 feet. Okay, right teardrop, course reversal, at or above 500 feet, approved for the low approach. Seven Tango Juliet. Okay. All, All right. right, we got it. And when we do this turn, we're going to get a really cool view of the NASA Assembly Building. All right, here's our Make turn. Sure you tighten that left turn up so you don't get in restricted here. Affirmative. That's thank you, Juliet. Yep. And we are not going past the center line. So nope, we're fine. As long as, as, long as no overshoot final, you're good. All right, here we go. Definitely that. did not overshoot final. Nope. And the restricted area is like right there. <laughs> so good enough. And we're recording this whole thing, so yep. we have evidence that we did not break into that restricted area because it's only a few feet that way. Oh, nope, we definitely <laughs> did not. All this infrastructure carved out of the swamp <laughs> so you can land a plane from space. That's, That's pretty cool. And we got a little bit of a crosswind from the right, so I'm kind of crabbing into the uh, center line here. To summarize, the NASA shuttle approach is really easy to do. First, check to see if there are any TFRs in effect because there are lots of sporadic TFRs here based on whatever operations NASA has going on. Second, this airport is inside a restricted area 2934 and right next to another restricted area 2932. So we need to ensure that this airspace is cold and the easiest way to do that is just call Orlando Approach on 134.95. Assuming it's cold, you are good to go. And if you go on a weekday, just call the NASA tower on 128.55 and ask for a low approach. Now, don't bother asking for a touch and go or a full stop landing. They don't allow civilians to do that. 
but they are happy to clear you for a low approach, even 50 feet off the ground, as long as your wheels don't touch the ground. And if you go on a weekend when the tower is closed, you can even self-announce a low approach on the same frequency, 128.55, which becomes a CTAF frequency whenever the tower is closed. So I hope you give it a try and hope you enjoy.